1992, countries joined an international treaty, the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, as a framework for international cooperation to combat climate change. In March 1995, the first Conference of Parties, or COP, was held in Berlin, Germany. For nearly three decades, the UN has been bringing together almost every country on earth for global summits called COPs. This year, COP26 will be held in Glasgow, Scotland. The Working Group 1 report of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change on the science of climate change indicates that we, the world is, is heading towards a serious climate situation given the the already recorded increase in temperature and what is projected for the future. What are some of the outcomes you hope for? COP26 is a very consequential COP. We have been fighting in this climate change battle for quite a while. Us as small island states have engaged in these discussions for 26 COPs now. Um, in 2015 in Paris, promises were made and COP26 was always supposed to be the time where we started to implement some of those promises. One of the key outcomes that we're looking for is for the developed countries in particular to make commitments to reducing the emissions that will, to a level that will bring us back in line. We are still hoping that COP26 will be when we start the implementation of the Paris Promise. A promise of a world of 1.5 degrees warmer and no more. A promise of a world in which inequities will, will not be as abundant. And a promise of a world in which climate change and all its impacts are adequately addressed by all countries together. Why is COP26 important to small island developing states? Small island developing states like ours can make a difference at COP26. In fact, in Paris, the 1.5 to stay alive, that mantra actually originated with the Alliance of Small Island Developing States. And it resonated and made a difference. That is how 1.5 got enshrined into the Paris Agreement. And it's worth noting that from the earliest days of negotiation, small island developing states were always part, an integral part of the negotiations. What significance will the outcomes have on OECS member states? The significance of COP26, the OECS and its member states are very high. We here in the region are some of the most vulnerable people in the world and we have seen this. Since the Paris Agreement, this region has endured several Category 5 hurricanes. We have endured extreme drought and extreme rainfall events that don't have names and don't fall within what we typically know as the rainy season. We have seen significant heat stress on many of our growing tree, fruit trees, our agriculture. We have seen many stresses come to this region. And so as the negotiators go into those rooms, the outcomes of COP26 can significantly change all of our lives. If these outcomes are what we want, if we get some of the, the big asks that we as small islands have, then we can see ourselves adequately addressing some of these major stressors. We can't change everything, but we can learn to adapt to it. And one of the first things we need in order to adapt, of course, will be the, the necessary finances. Another critical one is that of support for develop, developing countries, in particular small island developing states like ours, because to date the international community has not achieved the $100 billion support for climate action in developing nations that was pledged over a decade ago. And the situation has become worse since then. And so we're really hoping to see that, that there is an indication that we will meet and surpass this target. We as OECS citizens also need to be ready for a positive outcome out of Glasgow. We're hoping that everyone is ready to, to put all hands on board, that our farmers and fishers are ready for new techniques and new technologies, that our um, infrastructural engineers are ready to build differently and better. 
um, and that our policymakers are ready to make the big decisions to enact some of the new laws and rules and regulations that's going to allow this region to adapt to climate change.